Hello, I'm Dakota. Welcome to Attendance Spot for Slack. I'm going to be really briefly walking you through what to do when you get started. Uh, so most likely you've installed, but if you haven't already, super simple. You've got your fresh Slack team here. I'm going to browse the apps and all I'm going to need to do is search attendance and you will find attendance spot first thing. Uh, you'll click add. I'm just going to save you, you know, a couple logins, um, one login, but you're going to jump straight to this page. Now I'm going to highly recommend that, uh, you kind of work through this initial tour, but you don't have to, that's what this video is for. Uh, and so let's return back to your Slack space. Um, uh, and the bot has just started. You'll see attendance bot pop up on the bottom left as a direct message with you. This is a second really version of the tour, this initial script with the bot, uh, also really useful, but let's say you really don't want to do that right now, maybe later. Uh, so I think as an admin kind of thinking about setting up your team, the first thing you want to going to want to do is type settings to attendance bot. That's going to take you to your really your profile page, your master page where everything in the background happens. Um, and we see here that this, this tour is walking us through the first place you're going to want to go most likely is people. So on the left are all the modules. If I kind of scroll down to the people section, invite is where I'm going to see the other members on my Slack team that I may want to invite. You don't have to invite any of them right now if you're just testing it out. Uh, but always more fun to have more people in the mix. And so it's as simple as clicking this button. They'll confirm and they're part of your team. The next place I want to bring your attention right when you're getting started is, of course, the kind of initial settings page that you'll be brought to. This is a variety of general settings uh, relating to visibility, reminders, things like that. But there's a few that I think will be relevant to you off the bat. Um, first off, when you're adding new team mem members, kind of setting up your team, um, it is important. Do you want people to be able to set their manager or not? Uh, and that's going to have to do with, you know, approval flows, who has visibility to who's taking, taking leaves, scheduling work from home, et cetera. Um, the second thing is when you add new people to your Slack space, do you want them automatically on attendance bot or do you want to invite them yourself? I like to have this on, but you may have a different preference. And then finally, if we scroll down uh, to basically the bottom, this is where we can add other administrators uh, if we want to give other people in our Slack space the same access that we have. We can always take it away later. Up to you. Uh, so those are the three things, maybe four with invites that you need to get started. You can browse here, check out other videos to look at what's in you know vacation management and leaves, what's in time tracking, uh, shift management. Uh, you can set up you know your return to work uh plan here notifications onboarding or if you have gusto this is where you'd integrate with payroll but all of those will be separate videos thanks for joining